Hello everyone, welcome to a video looking at GT Sports latest update uh, um, we'll be looking at the wet weather in the game uh, what you're looking at here is me setting up a custom race I've uh, got the grip on real, you see me just changing there uh, we're going to be doing it in a group 3 car, the Mitsubishi Evo uh, I use custom race just so I can make some credits while I'm doing the testing uh, I find it to be translate just the same as using sport mode and lobbies. So I'm aware of the the bug in time trial where the grip is completely different, but in custom race, as long as you change the, the grip level to real, it simulates the same sort of grip as lobbies and sports mode. So we're, I'm just going to use the Red Bull ring the short course. Uh, to do my test, five lap races in the various conditions on various different types of tyres and just give you my thoughts and feelings on the wet weather uh, and looking at how different the conditions are uh, on the different time of days and and how they, how they feel and the difference between them so we are on the heavy wet tyre here uh, at the 10.45 uh, setting which is the heaviest wet conditions available uh, and I think it's fair to say that these conditions are pretty brutal the car is really really tricky to control uh, especially hard to get the power down coming out of slower corners in fact any corner it's hard to get the power down the back end really wants to step out on you at every opportunity you've got to be so gentle with your input so gentle with your your steering uh, you just got to wait 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 to get on the throttle so we've just uh, moved on to the end of our run here and if we take a look at the lap times we've done a 59.9 as our best lap so far we've got an optimal there of 59.6 this is on the heavy wet tyre, which you need for these conditions, as you'll see. We'll take a little look at how the intermeters, in, intermeters, intermediates fare uh, shortly. Uh, I did try this, these conditions in the Corvette, uh, and it's fair to say that uh, that didn't go very well. Very hard to get the car around in a representative lap time without a spin or a slide or anything. So I'm using the Evo because I found that's a much more manageable car in these conditions. Uh, it's obviously a good handling car in the dry, so I thought it would be quite decent handling in the wet conditions. It is much more manageable, but it'll still bite you in the bum the moment you try and take any liberties in these conditions uh, so we're coming to the end of our five lap run here a couple of hours, a 59.8 is our best lap, optimal 59.6 and it's the optimal lap I'm looking at, you know it's only a very short run so the potential lap time that we can do is what I'm looking at uh, and just off quickly, I've got tyre wear and fuel at times one uh, bops on uh, so, you can see the, the settings that I've used for the races at the beginning of the video. If you want to try and replicate them and see how uh, see how you get match your lap times to mine. So, this is a quick look at the intermediate tyres in the heavyweight conditions. 10.45 uh, in the menu. And as you're going to see, the intermediates, you have a little bit of grip, you can get around the corner. But I went straight off there, and I could tell just straight away that there was simply no point in exploring that any further. Uh, at the 10.45 seconds, it is the heavyweight tyres only, the intermediates. You'll get round, slowly, but no use using them. So you see, we've moved on to, this is the 0.445 settings. Uh, and you see me putting the brake balance to minus 2, I've used minus 2 for every test run that I've done, but when you change the conditions or the time of day settings, you have to put the bop back on, so that's all I was doing there. So these conditions, well first off, they look fantastic, I think it looks a lot better 
than the 1045 setting. Got a little bit of light coming through from the sun. Uh, we've got a nice sheen on the track there. I think it looks a lot better, a lot more visually pleasing. That's how the car handles. Well, it's still very tricky, but there is more grip. It's a lot more forgiving than the 1045 setting. You can get the power down just that bit easier. Uh, the car doesn't feel like it's trying to kill you in every corner, which is nice. So, you see the AI just overtaking me at the beginning of lap one. We passed them into turn one and lap two, and we're enjoying us in lap four here. And you can see, you can use a little bit more curb in these settings. Don't want to be accelerating too much on the curbs, but you can get away with it as long as you're very, very gentle with your inputs. You can see, we've got a lot more traction out of the corner. If you look at the lap times, it's representable. So we're nearly a second quicker on that lap than we were on our base lap at the 10.45 cents. So these conditions at 0, 0.445 are different. There is more grip. A little bit more forgiving. But there is still, and you'll see this coming up uh, shortly, you still have to use the heavyweight tyre in these conditions to get the best lap time. Uh, so, see, on the throttle there, we're still slipping and sliding, but the car's much more responsive. We're not, we can get on the throttle so much earlier and more aggressively. Uh, braking distances are just a little bit shorter than the 10.45 cents, so this is still heavyweight weather, but it is different to the 10.45, and I don't think too many people picked up on that at the moment, there we go, it's a 58.7 was our best lap there, so that's a full second quicker than we managed at the 10.45 cents, so here we are on the intermediates, and then we see when we tried uh, the, the 10.45 setting on intermediates, it was just pointless. In these conditions, the intermediates are not hopeless. Uh, and the cars with better traction might be able to use the intermediates in these conditions as opposed to the heavy wet. So I think that could be quite interesting to explore. I think some cars will have to use the heavy wet tyres and some cars, maybe the Porsche, everybody seems to be saying the Porsche is very good in these wet conditions, may be able to use the intermediates. Which I would find quite interesting, I think the intermediates wear it a lot slower than the wet tyres. So, just something to think about. Uh, so you can see, we're getting around the track no problem in the intermediates. It's uh, very slippy, we have to be very careful, run a little bit wide there. Car's definitely struggling for traction to come out the corners, but... My lap time here is a 1 minute point three. Uh, so that's about a second and a half. I think it was 1.6 seconds slower than we managed on the full wet tyre. Um, go wide here, into this corner, and I've... I'm just going to... I only, did, I, I only completed this corner, I realised the intermediates were not the tyres for these conditions, so... The 0.445 cent, it's heavy wet tyres, but it is more forgiving than the 10.45 cents. So here you go, you're just looking at me putting the brake balance, putting the bot back on. This is the 17.30 settings at the dusk with rain. Uh, and these are this, I think these conditions are set up for the intermediate tyres, but first off we're going to just do a little run on the wet tyres, just to see how the wet tyre fares. And as you're going to see, the wet tyre works pretty well in these conditions. Still, still struggling to get the traction down, but again, this is just another step of forgiveness compared to the, the previous two settings. So, 10.45, brutal. Very hard to get the car around. 0.445, still heavy weather, still requires the heavyweight tyre, but more forgiving, and as you can get the car around about a second a lap quicker. This is the 17.30 cents, and you still have to give the conditions a little bit of respect. You still have to give the curves a little bit of respect. You still have to give the accelerator a little bit of respect. But you can be much more aggressive. Uh, much more aggressive in these settings. And 
you're not it's, it's, you're not going to spin without doing something really really stupid. Uh, he says confidently. <laughs> uh, so I think we're going to stay on board for a full lap in these conditions. It will be interesting to see what sort of lap time we can get. Remember, we're optimal in the 10:45 was a 59.6 for optimal. And the 0.445, I believe, was at 58.5, so we should be able to get the car around quicker by a, a margin than both those conditions in these much drier, but still wet, conditions. So as we come up to the line, what's it going to be? 53, 54, 55, 57.1, yeah, as expected quicker than the previous good day. Now we sort of come to the end of the run, you see we've actually improved on our last two laps, I think my best there's a 56.3. That's two seconds quicker than the 0.445 seconds and three seconds quicker than the 10.45 seconds. So that is as we'd expect. So we move on to the intermediate tyres at the same settings we just uh, watched there at the 17.30. Settings. I've seen the word settings an awful lot. Anyway, we would expect the intermediate tyres, if this is the conditions for them, to be a little bit quicker than the wet tyres. But I wouldn't expect it would be much quicker, and that's how it's going to sort of transpire here. Uh, both tyres are an option in these conditions. But you can immediately feel, as soon as you put the intermediates on, you can just feel you've got grip. You've got more grip than the wet tyres. You can actually almost, but not quite, drive like it's dry conditions. Use a nice bit of kerb. You can brake. You, know, you can see I'm breaking out the cones for a lot of these cones, or just before the cones, which are sort of set up for sort of dry weather. Breaking, you know. So, we're getting very close. Uh, obviously, apex speeds are not as high. You can't shut the car in quite as aggressively as you would in the dry, but... Yeah. Car feels really nice, the intermediates, and as we come to the end of this run, we've done a 55.8 on our fourth lap there, so that's uh, it's half a second faster on the wet tyres. Uh, so as expected, the intermediates are f quicker than the, the full wet tyre. I actually forgot where I was going there, which is why I was in the wrong part of the track. So yeah, half a second quicker than the wet tyres on the intermediates, which is about what we would expect. Uh, the optimal there being a 55.6. So that would be, uh, that's getting, that's seven times quicker, so. Uh, intermediate tyres, definitely the way forward at the 17.30 settings, is that word again. So we come to the end of a run. What's it going to be? We're going to be in the 55s again, a 55.9, so good consistency there. That's uh, four laps within half a second of each other. So, I thought just for the sake of it, while we were here, I would uh, stick on a set of racing mediums. and see if we could actually get the car round on these intermediate conditions with a set of slicks on. Uh, yeah. Oh, well I said mediums, we've actually went for racing softs, there we go. So we've got even more chance of getting round really. So, here's the start of another race, we're on this, the racing softs, intermediate conditions. And immediately straight away, we're actually getting the power down, not too bad. Yeah, but we're getting past here by the AI car, but that, that's happened in a lot of the races. And we brake, broke well before the cones, we turn, and the car goes, uh, nope. We go wide, we're, we sliver back onto the track, we're still slivering. The car's kind of going, no, we're getting passed by more of the AI. We go into this next corner, and... Yeah, and we're gone. So, not really much point uh, using slick tyres in those conditions. It ain't going to work. So just for lap time comparison sake, I did uh, a wee race 
in dry conditions on the racing hard, just to sort of give us a scope as to how much slower wet conditions are compared to the dry conditions. Uh, and this is 0445 uh, dry here. So, we're coming to the end of our lap 5. We can see our best lap there is a 49. Nine, and I think we sort of do a, do we do a slightly faster lap here. Four, another 49 nine, but an optimum of 49 eight. So that's five seconds quicker. Six seconds quicker than anything we managed in any weight conditions. So it shows uh, the, the impact of the weight conditions on the speed of the car. Uh, you can see we've got the the times and the conditions and the tyres that they were, were used on the screen now. Ten seconds between the heaviest wet weather and uh, the dry hard. So. Interesting as well. Personally, I think the heavy weight, the condition 10.45 are just too brutal, so I'm hoping if any PD do any races are done at the 0.445 cents. I think that would be much more forgiving and better for a lot more of the player base. However, overall feelings, well, well, great addition to the game. I think it's been done really well. Feels realistic, but I'm not a professional. Tyres work the way they should. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it appearing on many more tracks in the future. So uh, go out there and enjoy it, folks. Uh, let me know how you got in the comments. I've made it to the end. Thank you for watching.